So are you looking to replace your outlet and possibly add this guy right here, which will power up your tablets, your phones right here with the USB-C option, as well as the regular outlet option? Well, that's what we're doing today. We're gonna swap out this outlet that you see right here. It's at the end of a peninsula, and it can also be an island, or it can just be in your countertops, wherever, it really doesn't matter. But today, we're doing it in a kitchen peninsula. Right here, this is controlled with the GFCI, which is right here. It's controlled on the load side. So these won't work uh, as like regular GFCIs if they require a GFCI, which is uh, kind of like what you would have in your restroom or your kitchen countertops or the islands. So just, just keep that in mind. But if you want to use it like in a bedroom, it works perfectly. Or on the load side of a GFCI, definitely works the same way. That's how we have this guy right here. It's fed off of this GFCI right here, which is on the kitchen counter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my tester. You can pick these up at Home Depot, Amazon, wherever. And then if I do this, and if I press this button, it will trip the GFCI. That's usually how an inspector would do it if he comes to your house and you're like buying a house or you're uh, doing a construction inspection. They'll do this to make sure that the GFCI works. You're gonna hear a click. You hear that right there? That means that there's no more power coming to this outlet. So what we're gonna do next, I'm gonna show you guys just to do it with the regular screwdriver. There's a Lennox 9-in-1, one of the best screwdrivers that I've ever had in my life. And I'm gonna do it this way with no drill, just so you guys can uh, know that it's easy to do and you don't need a drill to be able to do this. You can just do this with a you know, $13 screwdriver, which is actually awesome. It has the Phillips, it has um, the straight, it has those are like the little nuts, and then it has these so it's a great, great screwdriver. So we're gonna come here. As I mentioned, this already has no power because I tripped the GFCI, but if you don't trust yourself and you, you wanna disconnect the power, then you can do that as well. So we're gonna try to hurry this up. As I mentioned, I'm doing this with no drill on purpose, so you guys know that you can do it yourself without a drill. And we're gonna then screw this guy right here. Actually, that piece of the box, so that one's good. And then we're gonna do this guy. So I'm gonna pause it real quick, that way you guys don't hear all this mumbo jumbo. I'm gonna take out this outlet, and then I'm gonna take out the wires, and then we're gonna come right back. So we'll pause it, and then we'll come right back. All right, so we're back. Hey, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Frank Baltiers, and I typically show you how to build food trucks. So if you're looking for that information, that's usually what I do. But on here, we had this tape. I'm gonna have to put some tape on there, because these are the terminals, and you don't want them to touch the box, because then it'll get shorted out when you turn it back on. But on here, You'll see on the outlet, it says, if you guys can, I'll get closer. It says hot and it says white and then the ground wire. So it's pretty straightforward right here. That's why I said usually in your bedrooms um, or on the load side, the load side of a GFCI, you have these options and it's a lot more ah, easy to use. So we're going to disconnect these two guys, these two, this little guy. And then all we're going to do is take these wires off. Don't forget, this is already not hot because I tripped it from the GFCI. But as mentioned, you can turn it. You can turn it off on your breaker, and you can do it that way. So there's that guy. This little ground. There it is. Coming off. So we'll take the ground wire right here. We'll connect it right here. Boom. Easy McPeasy. We'll tie this up. Connect that, and then right here, definitely make sure you check. It says white, or it'll say neutral, and that's where you connect the neutral one to, or typically it would be silver. And then we tighten that up, again, with your Lennox 9 in one And I'm doing this because I bought this trash can right here, and every time I was here, uh, this outlet was here, and this dumb, this dumb little guy was always in the way of me like connecting my phone. So that's why I was like, ah, you know what? I'll finally fix it. So there's this guy and I'll connect the, the hot. Just like that. Maybe I might have to loosen it up a little bit. We'll loosen it up. Just like that. We'll tighten this bad boy up. And there you go, just like that. And all I need right now is I'm gonna go get some uh, electrical tape. 
Here I'm just gonna give it like a little courtesy wrap so these terminals don't touch. So give me two seconds. So there it is. I gave just a small little courtesy wrap of electrical tape right here and I left this open. So all we're gonna do here is make sure that you put these wires in the back in a very orderly fashion. You just wanna crumple them in there. One, for many reasons. One, is it's gonna give you the space that you need. And two, you don't wanna smush the cables. So we're just gonna tie those in there. And it's gonna be a tight, tight fit. Oh my gosh, I didn't know if it's gonna fit. Let me see. It is going to be a rascal. Oh, look at that. Woo! We got it. Now we're going to put this on here. This one right here, since it's an island, we use the cutting box. So with cutting boxes, they're always going to be a little bit smaller uh, in, in the width-wise than you would... Um, Typically, like that guy over there is in a construct in a steel new construction box. So it's a regular electrical box with the mud ring. So you get a lot more space back there. So then here we're gonna put this on. Doo -dee -doo -dee. Put this right back on here. And then we're gonna put our cover. And then we're gonna turn that GFCI back on. Any questions? Definitely make sure you. Put them here in the comment section and then we're going to put this cover on as i mentioned this is gfci protected because it feeds off the load side from the other outlet and then this is the cover i like these covers the best from home depot they're the ones they're a little bit more pricey than the other ones they're they say unbreakable but they're a little bit wider on the lip than the regular ones that they have at Home Depot. So it's like larger size, so it works really nice. And now we're gonna turn the GFCI back on. And it should be working. So now we're just gonna trip it. Look at that. And just like that, if I were to plug this guy in and charge the phone that we're recording on, it should work easy McPeasy. And that's how easy you can swap out an outlet a normal 20 amp outlet or 15 amp outlet for one that has USB connections, which makes it a little bit more convenient for your tablets, for your phones, when you're charging in different areas like your bedrooms, your kitchens, wherever you wanna put it, that's what you do. So you can do it yourself. If not, hire a local electrician, but there you go. YouTube for the, YouTube for the win. And then sometimes, as you see right here, this is what holds up the box to the cabinet. You might have to rip off the little ears off this, but that's easy. Just take a needle nose or some pliers and then pull that little tab off in case the the cover doesn't sit flush. I was having that issue, so I took it off and I wanna make sure that it sits 100% flush. So that's just the final tip that I wanna give you before I log off this video. So thanks again, hopefully that helps you out. I'm Frank Baltieres again, and I show you how to build food trucks. If you wanna check out all the YouTube channels, but I also do a lot of construction stuff, DIY stuff just for you guys.